hello everyone in this video we will make a flashlight app so for this i have created a new android project with an empty activity so first of all we have to go to our manifest file and give the camera permission users permission then android or permission dot camera that's it now we have to go to our layout folder to our activity main.xml and from here we will delete the text view and we will change the root layout to relative layout and then inside this I am going to add a image button the width and height will be wrap content let's give this button an ID to torch button okay and for the background of the button I'll be using two image files here are these I'll just copy them and paste them inside the drawable folder that's it now I'll write src equals drawable slash torch off here now we'll set the background for our image view to android color black like this now we can go to our main activity dot java and here I'll create an object for our image button so image button create an object and then we have to initialize our button so image button equals find view by id r dot id dot uh, we gave it torch button okay for asking the permission i'll be using the dexter library so here we have to copy this dependency i'll provide the link of this dependency or this library in the description so make sure to check that and then we have to paste it inside our app level gradle file here and click on sync now once it's done we can go to our main activity java and here inside the on create menu i'll write dexter dot with context and here we have to pass the context this and then we have to write with permission and we have to give the camera permission manifest dot permission dot camera and then for the with listener i'll create a new permission listener here we have these three methods and for the on permission denied we will show a toast message that camera permission is required okay now for the on permission granted we will call a method run flashlight okay so we have to create this method so let's create this method outside of our on create method and here we have to write dot check now inside the run flashlight method i'll create a on click listener for our image button so i'll write image button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside here we have to check if our flashlight is on then we'll turn it off or if our flashlight is off we'll turn it on so for this we have to take a boolean value so boolean state okay now here let's check if state is false 
then we will turn on our flashlight so for this we have to write um, camera manager create an object and then we have to write camera manager get system service and here we have to pass the context dot camera service actually the context will be with the capital C if you get an error like this you have to press alt enter that's it now we have to create a try catch method okay so inside the try block I'll write string we have to get an camera ID so I'll write camera ID equals camera manager dot get camera ID list and we have to get the camera ID from here and then we can write camera manager dot set torch mode we have to pass the camera ID and the second parameter will be the state of the flashlight which is true okay now we can change the boolean value of our flashlight state to true okay now for the cache block I'll write camera access exception e that's it now when the user clicks on that button it should turn on the flashlight and also change the background image of that button so for this I'll write in the try block image button dot set image resource to r dot drawable dot torch on now for the else block I'll just copy this code and paste it here and we'll change the state to false and we have to also change the background image to torch off that's it now let's run our app on our physical device because we can't show our torchlight on our emulator so let's run it in our physical device and I'll show you.